Well, look who the cat dragged in. It's great to see you here on Jim's Kitch Kitchen. Today I am doing something exciting. I was in the mood to have Sloppy Joes tonight. Well, I'm not gonna have just any Sloppy Joes. I'm gonna create something new and exciting. You know what I really love? Alabama white sauce. I thought, what would happen if I take that Alabama white sauce and I put it as the sauce for a Sloppy Joe? <laughs> we shall find out today on Jim's Kitch Kitchen. I'll start by browning my meat. You can use beef, ground turkey, ground sausage. I'm using corn meatless grounds, helping save the animals right now. I do not know if you've had Alabama white sauce before. If you haven't, you must give it a try. It's incredible. Let's get started. You need a bowl. One cup of mayonnaise. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One tablespoon of brown mustard. A teaspoon of lemon juice. A teaspoon of horseradish. <laughs> a little salt. Pepper. And a dash of cayenne pepper. Mix it up. Pour it on your cooking meat. Mm. Great sauce. I love it. It's really good with chicken strips. And serve with a smile. I'm nervous to pick it up on camera, so I'll just have a little sample on a fork. So unlike a regular Sloppy Joe, it has a full, fully different flavor, a different, I don't know, it's got a different type of sweetness, a little sweet, a little savory, I could taste the vinegar in there. It's neat. I would, I would have this again and I think you might want to try this sauce as well. If you don't have the sauce on a Sloppy Joe, have the sauce as any type of dip. It's the perfect dip. You can make it, keep it in your refrigerator, whatever. Some people call this sauce crack sauce. Hmm. What is Dolly Parton's favorite sandwich? A sloppy Jolene, 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 Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> 